We are now rediscovering that which are... We are more powerful than ribavirin against flu viruses and herpes. Um, now, mushrooms have other properties which are interesting. And so this is a group of cordyceps mushrooms. They're known as entomopathogenic fungi, fungi that kill insects. And the insects are on a constant dire dance between dinner and death as they go through soils. And cordyceps is a source of cyclosporin. Moreover, just recently, the FDA approved Novartis for a new anti-MS drug called Chilenia, which is predicted to be one of the 10 most profitable commercially produced drugs in the history of medicine. But cordyceps has a different face. And the cordyceps is a mold, has a mold stage. And there's like two faces of, of the same organ. This has profound implications for disease control, from malaria to yellow fever to West Nile virus. And so what can we do? There's lots that we can do. I think we can now control disease vectors, zoonotic diseases carried by insects across landscapes. And since so many uh, insects and arthropods vector diseases, most of you may not know that H5N1 bird flu is carried by house flies. This is something that's not widely reported. But because of climate change, subtropical diseases are now entering into temperate zones. So being able to control zoonotic pathogens, I think, is one avenue that will have a positive impact in helping habitats and humans dwelling within those habitats. Moreover, insects and arthropods not only transmit diseases that afflict humans, but plants. So the implications of this, I think, is absolutely enormous.